It's Friday, so let's keep that chill and talk about a brand new plugin that you can actually build your own custom EQ with. Hey, what's going on? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Hope you're good, hope you're well. If you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, share and like. Okay, so now, you know, I decided to come back again this week on a Friday to talk about a plugin. And this time around, we are gonna look at the new plugin from Sonimus called the Sun EQ 2. So let's take a look. Very cool plugin. Just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. I did not get paid whatsoever by Sonimus to talk about their EQ. I just love what they do. So I'm actually the one who approached them <laughs> to know more about their new EQ that just came out. Um, you know, I've been working with the Tuco compressor, you know, like for years. It's a very good compressor. Really enjoy working with this one. And of course, and you've probably saw me uh, working with uh, this one before. It's a console emulation plugin, the Britston Channel, which is an amazing plugin. I love to work with this one. So I've been used to work with uh, their plugins. And now they have the Sun EQ2. This one is a very special one. Now we're gonna get into the uh, the customized EQ part of it later on. But first, I just want to go throughout the parameters that we have with the plugin and the default layout. Okay, so first on the left side, we have the low modules and they're all modules, by the way, you can actually move them around, which is actually very cool. We'll get to that later. But on the default layout, the first one is the low module where we're gonna be able to boost frequencies or to attenuate frequencies with these two knobs. And we also have the frequency selection knob right here to select the fixed frequencies from 20 hertz, 30 hertz, 60 and 100 hertz. So those are fixed frequencies. So we can actually boost the low end and at the same time reduce the low end also. It's the typical Poltec approach. So if you're used to a Poltec EQ, this is basically what you get with this module of the Sony Q2, where we can create some very cool tones by cutting and attenuating at the same time. Very nice. Then we have the low mid module, which has a boost and a cut knob, and then the frequency selection knob right here. Uh, that is gonna go from 45 Hertz up to 4K. Okay, so this is gonna be the frequency range of the low mid module. And we have also a high Q at the bottom, you know, for more surgical uh, cuts or boosts. Um, so this is very practical. And the next module is the high mid, and this one goes from 400 Hertz up to 9K. And again, you can boost or cut. And you have the mid Q, which again is gonna do the same as the other one, the other module. It's gonna narrow down the Q factor, so it can be a bit more surgical, a bit more precise with the Q. It will affect a narrow band of frequencies. And then we have the high module, uh, where we have the high shelf, and we have the frequency selection knob, where you can choose from 6K, 8, 12, and 15K, all fixed values. Then we have the preamp module. This is a very cool module. We have a high pass filter, low pass filter, and we have a drive knob. Now the drive knob is basically saturation uh, that you can add to your signal, uh, which is quite nice. If you keep it off, there's no saturation whatsoever, but you know, you can actually uh, add some very cool tone to your sound by just bringing a bit of drive, and I really like that. And Sonimus tend to have this type of feature on a lot of their plugins. And you know, this is the type of thing that I like about their plugins. Um, then we have the output, which is essentially balancing the output signal of the plugin. And we have the wow effect. And what the wow effect is gonna do, it's gonna add some width, some stereo width to your sound. So very cool. Now all of the modules can be moved around, which is very cool. So you can actually customize the layout to your taste. And on top of that, you can create your own layout. So this is what I mean by creating your own custom EQ, and you can save that as a preset. So what you need to do, let me just bring that to its default value, and uh, there you go. Uh, you can actually just click on this uh, icon right here. That's gonna show you all the modules that you have available that you can add, and you can add up to 16 modules. So that's a lot. So you can easily use this type of EQ as your main EQ plugin. You can be very surgical with it, and you can also um, have a broader approach. So let's just add a second preamp. There you go. I can add a second low mid. It's, you know, usually I tend to need more than one low mid. 
There you go. I'm just going to bring that one here. Sometimes I will add a third one if I need to. So it's flexible. I can customize an EQ to my taste. And this is what I like. And once I'm done, I can just save it as a preset. And I already did so. So I have my Chris EQ group and my EQ1, which is this one. So this is my first custom EQ layout of the, uh, the Sony EQ2. So very cool, very practical plugin. And it actually sounds very good. So we're going to listen to um, how this plugin is going to react, is going to behave on a mix, on a full mix. Uh, but first, I just want to check here some parameters uh, that we have here uh, with the um, the plugin. Uh, we have a very cool one, which is show controls value. Usually, this is like the default value where uh, you can just uh, go on a knob and you see what the knob is doing you see the exact the exact frequency value you are working on and same for um for the gain you know you see how much uh, db you are increasing the signal with or uh, reducing the signals if you remove that option you have nothing <laughs> and this is actually pretty cool so you have to use your ears okay so this is actually a very good tool for ear training uh then there's another feature that i love big time is the GUI scale. And I think all plugin manufacturers should have that on their plugins. You know, in my case, I'm working on a 4K display and in Cubase, I have the enable high DPI active. So I get a more sharper quality image out of Cubase, out of the plugins. It's just more fun to work with. Uh, but it's not all plugins that are going to work well. A lot of them are going to be smaller. So in that case, you can have Cubase to resize the window. But, you know, it doesn't it doesn't make the plugin super sharp. But on this plugin, you can actually choose the GUI scale. And this is actually pretty cool. So I'm going to put it to the maximum. And look at that. Look at that. We have a super sharp, good looking Son EQ2. Very large, maybe too large at this point. But, you know, this is what you get. And it's super nice to work with, visually speaking, also on top of sounding good. So that's a big plus. And there's also oversampling that will go from 96 kilohertz to 768 kilohertz, uh, which is going to be hard on the CPU. So the more you oversample, the harder it is on your CPU. So just keep that in mind. And you can also select no oversampling if you want to. So let's try this one out on the full mix. Love it. I love this plugin. I love that you can customize your own EQ layout. Very well done. Sounds good. I'm going to be honest with you. And this is not sponsored. Again, I just want to remind you that this is not a sponsored video. I love the plugin. I think it works well. It's a very cool concept. I love the fact that I can use this type of vintage vibe plugin and customize that to my taste. So there's a lot of good possibilities with this plugin. Usually I can find some negative points on the plugin or a product, but honestly, I have a hard time picking something negative about this plugin. It sounds good, sounds smooth and warm. I just love it. So this is the Sony EQ2 by Sonimus. Uh, try it out. There's a demo available on their website. I'm going to leave the link down below. All right, my friends. So this is going to be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave everything down below. And until next time, take care and see you.